ambayo inakuja ndio hata gumu zaidi. Tunasikia siku hizi wameleta bill kwa bunge ambayo ikipitishwa nikiwa na kuku kwa nyumba nitakuwa nikilipia, nikilipia kuku shilingi hamsini kila mwaka ili nikuwe na kuku kwangu nyumbani. Nikiwa na ngombe nitakuwa nikilipia ngombe elfu moja kwa mwaka ili nikuwe na hiyo ngombe kwangu nyumbani. Hii mambo imekuwa ime, imeenda imepita zaidi. Sasa hii mambo ya affordable housing tukaambua kila mtu ambaye anafanya kazi atakuwa akilipa 1.5%. Ikapandishwa ikatoa kutoka kwa lefi ikakuwa ni tax. Sasa nasikia imerudi kwa bunge tena irudishwe ili hata yule mama bogo walikuwa halipi atakuwa akilipa 1.5%. Mtu wa boda boda atakuwa akilipa 1.5%. Yule yule alidaganywa akaambiwa ati hii serikali ni yake. Na mimi nauliza leo kwa sababu controller wa budget alitoa katika state house kwa, kwa wakati wa muda wa miezi ine, wana wametumia 531 million kwa hiyo nyumba kupika chai na kukula madazi ukihesabu hiyo pesa inakuja shilingi 1635 kwa kila siku ukihesabu zaidi inakuja every hour wanakula 10644 shillings na tunaambiwa ati tuko pamoja ati ni serikali ya hasra. Serikali ya mwizi. Munakubaliana kweli hiyo ni yetu? Ni mwana yetu ni horosho? Tulienda kwa hiyo tulienda kwa hiyo budget committee, uh, finance committee wakati, wakati wa finance bill. Wakatuambia oh mtatoa hii pesa ili maisha yenu itakuwa mzuri, mkiangalia maisha itakuwa mzuri. Juzi tumesikia tukiambiwa at in 10 years time hii inchi vile itakuwa haijaonekana itakuwa inchi mzuri sana na mimi nikasema ah hiyo mambo ni ya uongo hiyo mambo tunaambiwa mimi naita ni philosophy ya kule shakahora ile mahubiri ma, 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 ma tunapewa ni kama ile ya shakahora ati kwanza tujiue leo ili kesho tukue na maisha mazuri na sisi tunasema hivi tunataka maisha mazuri sasa na tunataka maisha mazuri even in future lakini sio tujiwe uwe sasa ili tukue na maisha mazuri ya kesho. Ni wadu aitu. Yeah. Mumechoka. Yeah. Mumechoka. Yeah. Mumechoka. Yeah. Mumechoka. Yeah. Shai gana ni shai gana. Asante. Haya. Nedai kwa nao na haya. Very good. Sasa kama mwenzangu aliposema hapa ni kwamba watu katika nchi nzima walikuwa na tumaini kubwa sana. Kulingana na yale mambo ya ambayo yalisemwa na ambaye ni rais leo. Akasema yeye ni mtu wa hasla. Na yeye anataka kuangalia maslahi ya hasla. Na wengi ambao nyinyi mko hapa nyinyi ni mahasla. Vile amefanya ni kweli ameangalia maslahi yenu kwa njia hii ya kwamba ametoa mafuta mahali ilikuwa ilikuwa shilingi 180 na 80 akapeleka 200 na kitu juu ameangalia maisha ama ameharibu ameharibu mtukufu rae juzi koti kasema mambo ya housing levy hakuna saa hizi nataka kuambia hata sio kusikia mimi mwenyewe nimeona kwa website ya parliament Kimani Shungwa ameweka bill inaitwa affordable housing bill. Na hiyo affordable housing bill amesema ambaye ameajiriwa atalipa kodi ya 1.5%. Alafu akaendelea akaangalia masilahi tena ya hasula. Akasema hasula yeyote ambaye ni mama mboga, ambaye ni mtu ya mkokoteni, ambaye ni mtu ya pikipiki ambao ni mtu ambaye ni wa maisha ya chini atalipa gross income yake atalipa 1.5% ya housing na akaongeza hapo juu akasema hata kama hauna nyumba wewe utalipa kodi ya kununulia watu nyumba na wewe hauna hiyo ni nzuri ni mbaya mbaya kwa hivyo tuwaambia na tuwapatia tahadhari na umesikia tumesema enough is enough enough is enough, enough. You can fool some people sometime but you cannot fool all the people oh, all the time. Yeah. You fooled us. Yes. Na tukakubali 
Hata mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ulikuwa umeongea kitu iko na, na, na mwelekeo. Lakini leo hii walio hapa wengi walikupatia kura na wanasema ngo ni lazima wewe uachane na maisha yao. Kwa sababu mwafinya ya kutosha. Ni kweli si kweli? Kweli. Eh? Kweli. Na anakaa kwa miti juu. Juu zinaona anabeba delegation ya watu wa ya watu 800 wakapelekwa Dubai. And listen to this one very carefully. Kwenda Dubai amewalipia 2.2 billion shillings. January is coming in two weeks. Na watoto wetu wameongezwa fees na amekataa kuachilia pesa ya CDF. Kwa hivyo hawana kitu watalipiwa naye fees. Lakini kuna pesa ya kupeleka wabunge wakalale huko na hakuna kitu wanafanya 2.2 billion. Equivalent to the fees of 75,000 students in high school. Hello? Munasikia? Kwa hivyo huyu ni mtu anatujali ama hatujali? Hatujali. Nasikia ndege, ndege zinakutana kwa hewa. Aliama Kenya Sikia, zinakutana hapa kwa hewa. Anaruka anabadilisha nguo. Anakuwa mtalii. Na hata saa hii sababu anapenda sana kuuza uh, mashamba. Hata nasikia wamechukua ile shamba ya ruai, ya sewage. Hiyo ya sewage wameichukua na uhuru alikuwa ameishika ndio isaidie watu wa Nairobi. Na watu wa Nairobi msikie. Sasa kutakuwa ni kama uh, uh, Sodom na Gomora kule sababu amechukua hiyo shamba. Tuamwambia wachana na hiyo uza state house. Uza nini? Yeah. Sababu wewe hukai state house utakuta fitia Airbnb. Yeah. Unakaa hapo siku moja yeah. alafu unaenda ngapi? Yeah. Ni sawa si sawa? Yeah. Eh? Sawa bazuri. Si ni sawa? Yeah. Hii watu wote kazi yao ni ya wizi. Mtu anadanganya leo, anadanganya kesho. Unajua we had even given you time my friend. One year five months saa hii tumesema hakuna kunyamaza tena hauta 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 hautasimamisha watu wetu kufanya kile wanataka si kweli so tutasema hivi like our declaration hapa eh mliona watu wetu wamechapwa sana kule Lamu yeah. si wamechapwa sana na hajapeleka watu ya kuangalia mambo ya security na wa, wananyongwa sana lakini pesa ya kwenda Dubai yako naye na China na India wanakutana eh hey, na, na wherever anaenda na anapeleka askari Haiti na sasa hiyo watu wetu wanauawa anatujali hatujali hatujali sio so we are giving you a warning and this is Kiambu declaration ya kwamba enough enough is enough and we don't want your liberation we have decided to liberate ourselves and the starting time is now the starting time is now nyote mmakubali tuanze safari ya kutimua hii jamaa anatusumbua ni wangapi wanasema tumutimue kama kama mbaya mbaya utashuka kwa mti kama hautoki tutakata huo mti na power so uanguke chini Wa mama mko tuko atumia mwekuo ni de ha dadi dikanole atuthia matane titukaigua ruo riu ndiraigua ka undu gaka ka januari no ria twehereirio no ria twehereirio uhoro wa school fees uria tuhinyereirio school fees kuria kwari kwa free education gutire ka biashara karia tumia turuta ganiko ka uto kurihira 1.5 Garigo January ciana ni igathoma ciana citu tugutwara ku ndiracokire ndiraigua kangi ona student home iria ciana citu iria ikwirirwe tutwaraga ni ikuhingwo tukurera ciana ati atumia ngacoka ngagia na ruo ciana icio turendwa tutigathomithie ciage githomo ciathie na kuginya ciaga mawira ri tondu ni ciakireirwe na ni magireri ciahutia gacohi cianywa cietu omungikire kana tithwe twaciarire Nizwe tu asiarire. Ciana citu ni mungiki. Ciana citu ni mungiki. Ni ngwenda kwaria na ruo, ni turirikanwa ciana citu ithi cukuru na ni turirikanwa ciana icio itari mawira ni ithwe tu asiarire. Ciatherwo mawira, ciatherwo maundu magweka itige gwikwa mungiki na daruga madaiga. Damutha itha inywe murasi ta mungiki tutikoragirwo ciana citu. Tutikoragirwo ciana citu. Gukinya udigiari arege atimia mwena ruo. Mwena ruo. Toririkanwo. Tonyitane tumere. Tumere. Thank you Muno.
As I had said earlier, if there is a big lie that has been given in the last one year, that it should actually be put in the Guinness Book of World Record as the biggest lie of the year, is being told that the people of this region are shareholders in this government. People of this region cannot be shareholders in this government, and the money that was allocated to their projects by their previous administration has been taken away and redirected to other projects elsewhere, as if they are children of a lesser god and they do not deserve those projects. Also, money men, that was, we have seen issues of water, um, our, our roads that were ongoing and money had already been allocated is no longer there. Those roads are not the continuation, the, 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 the construction has halted. So we are asking where is our money and why is it being taken elsewhere if indeed we are shareholders. And when our MPs try to talk about it and to voice our concerns, they are, they are given a phone call and they are told do not talk about that matter. When our ministers try to address these issues within ministers from this region, when they try to address that, those issues uh, from within their dockets, they are wanangolewa, wanapelekwa wizara zingine, ndiyo waache kuongea hiyo maneno. Na ndiyo waogope, na iwe onyo kuwa wana kwa wengine, mambo ya Mount Kenya wasiongele. We are saying that is not our house. We have been taking comfort in someone else's house and saying we belong there. We have to build our own house where we can voice our concerns, where we will not be intimidated, where we will not be told that someone is holding a sword, ready to deal with us if we start asking questions. So I am requesting, I'm asking our people from this region so that our leaders in parliament can have a voice. We need to build our own house called Jubilee. Yes. Where, if they, where if they are chased away from the other side or they are intimidated, they will have a place to call home. Oh. Jubilee is our liberation party. That is the party that is going to liberate us from this oppression. We cannot be staying in the oppressor's house and saying here in Yumbayatu to corner to corner shareholding. Yes. From now moving on, we have to start a new movement where we go build our party jubilee and then from there start raising our voices, start challenging our, our, our MPs, our ministers to talk without, without, okay. without fearing. We are not, I've said, we are not children of a lesser God. We are not to be intimidated. Yes. We have every right to ask for what belongs to us, for our resources, because we also pay taxes. But for us to do this, we must be in a place where we will not be intimidated. And that place is called Jubilee. Jubilee Party. And that's why, no matter how much they are trying to fight our party, we are going to win that battle in court. We are going to take our party back, and we are going to fight for this region and for our country. Because when we are in Jubilee, we, Jubilee will be able to align with people of like, or with like-minded people, ODM and, and the others, and, and WIPA, and be able to not only to fight for ourselves, but to fight for the region. Kikuyu's leaders have always been known to fight against oppression from the Mau Mau days to the days of second liberation. But what has happened now? We have become very timid. If our forefathers came now, they would, they would be very shocked that we are the people who just sit down and, you know, and get, you know, we are just the people who just hold back and allow the government to do whatever it wants, even if it's oppressing us. We must, we must rise to who, we must rise to become the people we are. We are very, we are very strong communities. And if we work with other strong communities, we will be able to liberate not only our region, but this country. What Thank you very much. Yes? The number two in the government. Yeah. The number two in, in government is the one who is telling us that we are shareholders in that, that government, knowing that he's lying. If he, him is, a share, if he is a shareholder himself, if is a shareholder in government, and whoever else feels that he's a shareholder because they, are, they, 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 they have government appointments, that does not represent the rest of us. That is Rigathi Gashagwa and his office. He does not represent Mount Kenya because he never talks about Mount Kenya. People have been dying in Lamu, Kikuyu. People are being, people are being harassed in Deldore. He, he, never, he does not talk. I have not him heard him talk about uh, Lamu. I have not talk, heard him talk about uh, Nyamakema traders. But he's telling us we are shareholders. Iyo ni kitiyake ye mwenyewe. Haituhusu. Yeah, Haituhusu. So that is his position as Rigathi Gashagwa. It does not belong to Mount Kenya or to the Kikuyu community. Thank you very much. Yes. 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 How are you going to restructure Jubilee? Are you going to restructure the leadership of the party? No, we are in Azimio coalition to stay. That is our coalition, and that is why we are going to work with other leaders and other communities to build a very strong movement. 
yenye itangoa ruto kwa hiyo kiti so we are staying in azimio we are fighting from there and we are very united these stories you are hearing they are sponsored stories to say that uh, azimio is divided i don't know who is here who is no 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 azimio is together and we are going to fight this battle together. And about restructuring of Jubilee, the most important thing right now for Jubilee is to, to start from the grassroots, building up. We cannot just be a party that talks from up there, but Mashinani Hatuna Watu. So as you, you've been seeing our Secretary General, Kioni, moving from one county to another, uh, you know, just trying to bring people together at the grassroots level. We are having, uh, you know, we are, we, are, we are having leaders, you know, young leaders, appointing young leaders to lead Jubilee in different counties. You saw him and, and our party chairman, uh, David Muraza in Lamu, also defending our people. So we are building this party. We are restructuring, but from bottom, from from the bottom as we build to a very high, to a very strong, to a very strong, uh, yeah, leadership at the top. So, Thank you very much. In the new onslaught, uh, what role are we likely to see the former president play? Let him first speak and then I'll get it. Yagu ni machache sana. Kwa jina langu daitu wa Karyuki Kiroga, kutoka hapa Kiambu. Yagu ni machache sana. Kuambia watu wa Mount Kenya. Mbele siyo kuzuri. Ile mambo yote William Ruto amereta hata hizi sheria ambazo ishongwa na sukuma kule bunge ukianzia kwa wakulima wale watu ambao wako targeted ni watu wa Mount Kenya tulisikia wakisema hata kutengeneza chakula ya ngombe ile si ile jitunakatakata majani itakuwa ni fine kukutwa ukitengeneza bila barua na kama hujasomea tukiangalia wale wakulima kutoka kule northeastern huko hizo ngamia kuna mahali wanatengenezaga zilege wanaachilia ngombe zao kwa kichaka ngamia zao kwa kichaka wale watu wako targeted ni wale wakulima wetu wa Kithunguli na kule kwingine na tuambie William Ruto Bere ya kujeka hizo affordable housing hapa Kiambu ategeneze jera mingi because we are ready to go to those prisons. Hakuna yeah. wakati tutaitikia watu wetu wa vinywe. Ya pili, leo tuko na viongozi ya kinaishongwa na wengine. Tukikumbuka wakati wa Moi, Moi alikuja akawa na mpango wa kufinyilia mkikuyu na watu wa Mount Kenya. Na tulikuwa na kinaishongwa of those days, Kariuki Shotara, baba ya Susan Keheka akina Keheka Kemani, akina Kamodho wabao walitajirika kiviao wakifinyiria na kupigia moi makofi ya kifinyiria watu wetu today we have ishongwa we have gachagua we have dedenyoro ambao wanapigia moi makofi akifinyiria watu wetu we had akina matiba ambao walitokezea kuokoa watu wetu let us be the matibas of today let us be the robias of today tutasimama kidete na tuambie moi na tuambie huyu moi mpya the modern moi william ruto hakuna kufinyiria watu wetu ya mwisho tuambie william ruto hii serikali yako imefinya watu for the first time amepandisha vitu ambazo haijai padishwa amepandisha chumvi amepandisha kodom amepandisha kila kitu watu wetu wakufa ukimbi we are telling you william ruto mugu mungu hata achilie ufanye hivyo na tuambie watu wetu wa kanisa tuambie watu wetu wa kanisa hapa tumefika tumefikishwa na kanisa wala watu wengi we have those few people about ni wazuri tuko na wainaina the provost ambaye aliongea vizuri sana sande but we have bishop sata hapa Kiambu tuko na mgida hapa Kahawa West anaenda mpaka kuomba kazi kwa Ruto we are telling people na tunaambia watu vizuri sana watu wa kanisa tuambie Mungu kama kuna mtumishi wako ambaye anateka advantage ya wale watu ambao wanamwamini sana kwa kanisa yake Mungu usiachilie atuweke kwa shimo zaidi chukua huyo mtu kiviako utuondolee na midst nitafikisha hapo na Mungu awabariki haya asanteni mimi naitwa Owen Wanjiko kutoka Kikuyu mahali huyo jamaa ishongwa ataongea vile anataka. Tunataka kuongea siku ya leo tuseme kila mmoja wetu alisikia juzi rais akiongea. Rais alisema wameandika walimu 56000 in Kenya. Ukifanya average ya hao walimu katika constitution yako mko na walimu 200. Tukasikia pia maneno ya nyumba hizi za hausi wakasema akasema pia wameandika 120,000 youth wagapi wameandikwa hapa kikuyu Hakuna. vijana wetu wanafinyika hapa na tukizunguka tunaona ni vijana kutoka wapi wale wanakuja kufanya kazi hapa Kiambu ukiangalia kampuni kama KPLC wamejaza watoto wao hapa na watoto wetu hapa bado wanahangaika Ukiangalia uko Kikuyu, wameanza kuangalia mashamba. Tuko na shamba kama ya kali. Wanataka kukula hiyo at the affordable housing. Na tunajua wale wanatembea huko usiku. Ukiangalia uko Kabete, kuna shamba pia ya shura walijaribu kuhamisha ione kama ne kama iko Kikuyu ili waweze kuimba. Tuko macho, 
na tukaka, tutakaa gangali na tunawauliza tutokee sisi wote tukembee hii serikali tadone to hasiri ya doito tukobete ginya to wako babia idia na ni moyo gote mundu ni wathie guko babia idia mohede da guto ya uikaro na nikio murona muna na witu daro ugamaga kenya negocionoka neguo kenyans matika amuria shiuria ogoro ni shio we hali akikuyu ucio ni tukodi na kereu ona thukuru kwa tuka no kuyero ye irwo twe hamwe twe hamwe ndo itu tuthie tha bale twe hamwe na tutigatiganiria kiaba kia jubili iyo ni nyumba itu asanteni gesapoti hau ha gesapoti hau ha muthuri ogwitwa owen andu akikuyu heno ndo ndirenda mumenye farafara iria ciothe cia tunyanirwo iratwarirwo kuria ketri koukari na ve, na kouvet Maraku wani to maraiga ni kwa marenda gwaka nyumba mumere to migonde muthongo atanoka yari ya maguka maito magitunywa na tutingitikirethie andu athe mumere na kemanua icho ngomenye kafeta ni gutinani atuna nirio gituika ni kafeta na gikoyo kafe gikoyo kou guothe migonde yeri ni itu kuri guothe twita kwa hai na diguthie thank you muno thank you nita godama wa kuria kiaba no guitu ni jubilee de wa kia makia jubili jubili oe 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 very good muthenya umuthi tuoka ni undu wa hali ya tukinyitwe ni muturire uyu wa mbere tutanaima ni ni tuikarite the ni personally na ishimwa ria me haha na uhuru na kiuga ni aneana bia budget jiganu ya kazi mtaani for the next five years ni murona kazi mtaani bia shia kazi mtaani shiko tondo ni shia ri budget ini bia sia ndo akoro pesa ya watu waze iko wapi ya mwaka mzima yenye imekuliwa iko wapi hiyo pesa na ilikuwa kwa budget pesa ya wanafunzi wa mashule iko wapi january ni eno eroka etigetie thiko cigana ona fithi ni nyongerere niguo i no kwega no kwega i ne sia sio sia na sito iria sira performire marato ari school mal sabit Mato ara school mandera ciana citu iria cithomeire kia bueno makare ko makarega ko he opportunity mathomere guku ithe turaiga o ciaigana ni ciaiga ciaigana ni ciakatia ni ciaigana mumenye o kahoa gaka turerwo johia no turerwo rene ciana citu mamuhe akura mare haslas neguo thaisi maratu oke mogeke maratu adoi mogeke na mogeke Niko manisha andu aingi no marenda gutua ni mikora moke mahorwo moke morago yuthi to ni guai tori andu aroro mundo ni tori arakaru na ni turaiga o ciaiga na ni ciaiga ciaiga na ciaiga na ciaiga na turanete nawe o mota kwa moja mumenye ora tugutwarana na sasa nasema sawa mambo ni sema na Kiswahili mali tumefika tumefika mwisho wakiomba kura wana vijana wetu na youth wetu na sisi mama zao walikuwa nasema ni hustlers saa hii wamebadilika wakiwa wameongozwa na women rep wa huko wakiita watoto wetu nini mongiki wewe unajua mongiki anafanyangwa aje shoot to kill hiyo ndio order ya mongiki shoot to kwa hivyo sasa wanataka kuua watoto wetu january ni imefika mimi naongea ni kwa na asira ya mwanamke ya mama amezaa akatoa mtoto na tumbo na sisi yes nyene gotideka gasi ara mwanake mwana wako ari wo mbothe etagwa mongeke na riria hena akura ari hasora niguo i sasa na wauliza kama mtoto wangu ambaye nimezaa na tumbo yangu nikasukuma akatoka akipeana kura alikuwa kijana mzuri saa hii amekuwa mongiki na mnajua order ya mongiki ni shoot to kill mnataka kumaliza vijana ya kiambu Mnataka kumaliza wasichana wachanga wa Kiambu. Mumeleta madawa huku, watu wanakunywa madawa, pombe inapeanwa free, mkitudanganya hapa una deal na pombe. Mnapeana school fees ndio hii inakuja January, wazazi wataitisha school fees. Tumesema imetosha punda amecho? Amechoka. Punda amecho? Amechoka. Haya, acha nioge tu kidogo tu dakika moja. Dakika ndio niko kia ria. Dakika ni ndaheo hado. Eh, niona ndaenda kwa ria kwa ruka nini?